Welcome to the driver's seat where for the past few days we've been traversing across the Northeast from Mount Washington back to Boston in our 2018 second generation Chevrolet Traverse. Ten years ago Chevy made a decision to kill the minivan and they replaced it with their Lambda series of crossovers and the first generation Traverse was one of those. It's pretty much been the last one in the series to get replaced. You have the Buick Enclave and GMC Acadia and it's a real workhorse. Uh, this is a great family vehicle. It could be configured like we have here, three rows, seven passengers, or you can have it configured for three rows and eight passengers. It truly has replaced a minivan in every sense of the way, except that it doesn't have the sliding doors. Nevertheless, we're going to give you our thoughts on this compared to the rest of the segment. Under the hood is the latest iteration of the 3.6 liter V6 engine that has made its way to many GM product. It's a good engine, it's a solid engine, but it feels a little tired. I wouldn't mind seeing it replaced with a 3 liter twin turbo, for example. One of the vehicles in the segment that went to that four cylinder turbo model is the CX-9 from Mazda, and that feels like a lighter, livelier vehicle, and it is. But for now, this is what we have, and it's made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission. When you look at the rest of the segment, all I can say is the Traverse is on par. Up front you have the new grille which is part of the Chevy family. It works, it makes sense and again it gives it an updated look from the outgoing model. What I'm not a big fan of on the Traverse is this broad C-pillar. As you can see it's pretty stout and it creates a real blind spot for the driver. Not a big fan but when you get back here to the D-pillar I think they did a nice job. Kind of makes it look very seamless with the dark windows and the blacked out D-pillar so very clean look. I just wish they would have made that C-pillar a little bit smaller. I mentioned that the 3.6 liter V6 has made it to an 8-speed transmission. It's actually a 9-speed and that is one of the new changes for the 2018 Traverse. It's a good transmission, a very responsive. What I don't like is that in order to manually override the gears where you control them, you actually have to go into a separate gear, which is L, and you have this little button with you know plus minus on top of the shifter. I don't like that. No one else does that. It's very antiquated. What they really need is to incorporate paddle shifters, which may not be appropriate for a family crossover, or simply have the ability to shift over to the left and then move the lever up or down. Uh, it's a little thing, but it really bugs me. We've been in some mountainous areas where it would have been nice to control the gears. Besides that, the ride is very capable, very competent, and a nice evolutionary upgrade from the last model. When you look at this vehicle from a styling perspective, both exterior and interior, compared to the outgoing model, it is just that, evolutionary. They did just enough, and I don't think they went far enough because they kept that original design for about eight years, and that's a long time. And when others are changing every five or six years, I think Chevy really needed to step up their game and they could have gone with some better materials. The plastic here is a little bit hard and they could have gone with a little more lively gauge cluster, something a little bigger and bolder. Uh, this just looks very, very dated to me already. A lot of good information here between the gauges and of course you have this 8 inch infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which is on par with everything out there, better than some. And of course you have OnStar, which to me is still the best way to get directions while you're driving. The interior is spacious, it's comfortable. The car feels a little sluggish, not as lively as, as I would like. But again, when you look at the rest of the segment, with the exception of the Mazda CX-9, they're all kind of the same. So what's the bottom line on the 2018 second generation Chevy Traverse? This is a very capable vehicle that was packaged and priced right. And it's also in a very competitive segment. When I look at all the vehicles and I've driven them all, I got to put the Pilot first. It just has all the features that most families want, followed by the Highlander and the Traverse, a very close third. I'm Ron Doran, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on The Driver's Seat.